Today, I am in a really, really good mood because Fluent CRM has released an email marketing automation update that is going to make my workflow very, very easy. For those that don't know, Fluent CRM is an email marketing automation software for WordPress. Now, for this to work, you're going to need Fluent CRM Pro. So if you don't have Fluent CRM Pro, the link to that is in the video description below. Now, prior to this update, what I would have to do is if I released a blog post, I would have to go into the email, set up an email campaign, and then send it out manually. Now, I produce a lot of content in a week, and doing this every day was... Yeah, getting boring. So this update now is going to change everything. I can automate that whole process. In fact, let me show you how this works. Before we set this up, you need to make sure you have blog posts. So over here, I already have my blog posts. I'm gonna come over here so you can see them. So they are actually scheduled. So here I have hello world and I have post one and post two. So this one here is going out tomorrow and then after tomorrow. So now that I have my blog post, what I need to do now is to come over here to Fluent CRM dashboard. Now I'm going through this just in case you are brand new to Fluent CRM. So you need a tag or a mailing list because you're going to need to send these automated campaigns to a specific mailing list later on in the process. So over here, I have my tag. I've already gone ahead and created it. So if I come over here to tags, you can see here, I have a tag called subscriber. I also have an email list called subscribers list. So with that in place, now let's go ahead to the recurring campaigns. So I'm gonna come over here now to recurring campaigns. Another way to get to this is to uh, come over here to emails. If you hover over here, you're going to get recurring campaigns. Let's click on that. And now you get this new dashboard. Now, if you haven't created anything, you are going to get this button here. But if you already have something, it's going to show up over here. Now let's click on create new recurring campaign. Come over here. So here you can give it a name. So I'm going to say a daily posts. So over here is asking me how often I need to send this email. So in my case, I want to send it daily. So every day I want to send an email out. So here, and this is a really cool thing. You can set exactly the time you want these emails to go out. So let's say you check your stats and you notice that um, your audience is mainly from America and maybe you are in a different part of the world and your emails are read at a specific time. This is where you can come over here and specify what time you want to add in here. So let's say this is going to be 3 uh, p.m. Now this feature here, which says send emails automatically to the selected date and time. I'm going to come back to this one, but for now, if you leave it checked, it means that everything is going to happen automatically in the background. Okay, now let's say you want to send your uh, content out every week. You can always come over here, choose the day and then choose the time. If you want to do it monthly, you can come over here and choose the day of the month that you want to send it out. So this is covering everyone who wants to send or schedule all their blog posts. Okay, now let's continue. I'm gonna say continue to next step. Here is where you get our conditions. And this part here is very important. Now remember, I said you need to create a tag and also a mailing list. So this is where now you can say, send uh, emails if blog posts. Now we also have other items here that will show up. So at the moment here, I'm focusing on the blog posts, but you can also uh, do it to the pages. I have blog posts and then I'm gonna say publishes within one day. So the system now is going to go and check if every, if anything was published on that particular day. If something was published uh, in your blog post, it then schedules it. This is really, really amazing. So then the question is, what if I skip a day? Well, the next day it will check again. If there's something that was scheduled, it will then publish it out and so on. Here, I'm gonna say publishes within one day. And then I also have other conditions here but I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna keep this simple. Let's move on to our next step. Now over here is where things get exciting because this is where you get to choose your contacts. So you are now specifying where you want to send these emails to and who do you want to send them to? So remember, I created my mailing list earlier on, which is the subscribers one. So I can click on this drop down now and choose subscribers list. Now, of course, right now, I don't have anyone in that list because this is a demo website, but I would have quite a few people on that mailing list. Okay, so now that I have that, I can also add other, uh, other conditions here. If I click on this plus, uh, plus button, I can say, okay, send also to another subscribers list. But you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. If you want to exclude people that see this email, you can also come over here and exclude them. All right, so now let's create our recurring campaign by clicking over here. The question that I had was, okay, how is the system going to know the title of my blog post. And guess what? We can get the title of the blog post by coming over here and clicking on three these three little dots. So you go to general, 
and then you want to look for latest post title, okay? So this is automatically going to add the title of the blog post in the email subject. Isn't that cool? Man, I'm so excited. All right, so over here we can have our pre-header, so you can just say new blog post. The next step now is the email body. Okay, so when it comes to the contents of the email, then uh, this system has to have a way of uh, knowing that the headline goes with this particular content. And Fluent CRM has this all sorted. Let me show you how. So let's give this a title here. We're going to say hello at first name, like that. So over here now to add our content, they have a brand new post block. So this post block here is super powerful. Let me show you how. If I uh, add my forward slash here and, and search for uh, post block like that, you see it? it says latest post block. I'm going to select that. And right away it's showing my latest uh, blog post, which is on my blog. So what I can do now is I can decide... So right now, by default, it's set to show three posts. So if you're sending your um, blog post out weekly, you can decide to say, okay, I want to combine all the blog posts that I've sent out during the week. So if it's three of them or four of them, you can just uh, set them all out here and they will be listed here. So when your subscribers read them, they can read three blog posts in that email that is sent once a week. But in my case, I want to send an email out every day with a single blog post. So I can come over here and select one. Next, I also have other settings I can play around with here. So let's say I do not want to show the image. I can always disable it like that. And all I have is just the text and the title and the read more button. But in this case, I like this layout and I think this is good enough. And here I can say watch video if there's a video that is a part of this. And you also have some colors here that you can go in and customize. So once you've set this all up, the next step is you want to now click on save. So you're probably thinking, okay, so is everything ready to go? Well, not yet, because there's an extra button here that we need to click, which is the draft to publish. So if we click here, now it's active and it is ready to go. So where do you see all this information? Well, they have this all sorted out and it's really exciting. You come over here to the settings and this is where you can go back. If you want to fix anything, you can just come over here, uh, fix anything that you want to fix at any point. And once you've done that, you hit save. But what I'm really after here, over here at the top, if I click on recurring campaigns this time, we notice now we have the daily post, which is the blog post that needs to go out. Okay, so it tells me when I, when I created it and then it says, broadcast daily at 1500 automatically next schedule and then it tells me what time so this is tomorrow at three uh, uh three o'clock p.m so at any point if i need to go in and uh, edit i can always go in here and edit whatever i need to edit and then save okay so once i've saved i can always come back over here and you are going to get a list of emails here because this system is automatically going to schedule them for you because once you set this, it's set and forget. And this is the really exciting part about this. Remember, I said there was a button that uh, I wanted to uh, revisit. Come over here and let me show you. It's this button right here. So if we uncheck this button, what happens is over here now on the list of uh, recurring campaigns, it will not send it out as uh, active. It will send it out as draft. So you would need to go in and manually send it out, but it accumulates all your emails on that list for you. The only thing is it won't send them out, but you have to do it manually. But if you have that button checked, it means that everything is going to happen automatically. So now every time I create a blog post on my website, I don't need to stress about going in and doing it manually every single time. Fluent CRM is now going to do this for me. This is super exciting, guys. If you create websites for small businesses, or even if you are a blogger, you need Fluent CRM because doing this automatically is a great deal. I mean, I used to stress, sometimes I used to skip days when I need to send an email because it's just too much work. But now I'm super excited. Thank you, Fluent CRM. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.